Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. The S&P 500 was down 0.07% today. I consider that a pretty good result after really good yesterday. Just getting something sideways today and not giving it all back uh, is a really good sign. We held above that 4,200 level on the S&P 500. We now have this big giant uh, amount of support that was resistance that we got through. Uh, the producer price index, which is wholesale inflation, was down a half percent. That was more than expected. Inflation is continuing to show some erosion uh, and uh, predominantly revolving around energy costs, uh, gas costs, those types of things. That could bode well. Uh, today, the average gas price in the U.S. dropped below $4. Uh, and again, here we are in August. The report that will come out for the August inflation will be in September, uh, really just before the Federal Reserve meets. And so you could have another drop down in inflation, which might allow the Federal Reserve to do a half a point rate increase instead of three quarters. Um, and the market's basically now betting on that. Uh, and we know the other piece that I keep hearing is maybe two one quarter increases uh, in their other two meetings. So basically one more percent for the whole year. Uh, and so that's really important. You know, the market's looking forward. It's seeing these commodity prices uh, like oil and those types of things have come down off of their highs. Uh, and so the market's looking forward to maybe some softer inflation as far as that goes. We had some other key things happen today that were interesting. Uh, you know, the market is almost halfway back from the total loss all the way to the bottom. Uh, it's got to get to 4234. We're at 4207. If it closes a that it's retraced half of its loss. It's somewhat significant historically. A uh, market has not reestablished a new low when it closes above that 50% retracement level. So we were actually above that for a while today, uh, kind of almost in there and then fell off towards the end of the day. So we'll see what happens you know, tomorrow or next week if we can get above that. Kind of have a checklist of things, you know, the 200 day moving average, the different resistance, the trend line, and this 50% uh, you know, retracement that I'm looking at. That you know, has kind of barriers to get through and things to jump through to say, okay, we're really looking at a recovery here. So still uh, going down that direction. As I mentioned yesterday, uh, you know, we're working back in all of our exposure to the stock market that we had before, uh, just getting back to, you know, the same levels that we had in all of our models uh, before we got defensive. You might get defensive again if things fall apart, but uh, they've got a lot of good things going on. And breaking through that resistance that we just broke through yesterday uh, gives me some hope that the market can at least kind of hang up here for a while and maybe have a little run, uh, if not start to really recover. So anyway, look forward to seeing what's going to happen tomorrow. You can join me on my show, Talk Money with Tom on YouTube, 1215 to 1 o'clock Pacific time. I'll give you a summary of what I saw happening uh, in the during the week here for, this, for the market uh, and any questions you might have about anything else you can ask at that particular show. So look forward to seeing you there. Thank you very much.